for me, an invasive species uh, fits several criteria. One, it's a non-native species. It's a species that comes into a habitat where it does not belong. It has a negative impact on native species. It's sort of like Kudzavine. Kudzavine came in, we brought Kudzavine in to save the erosion of great big areas. And all of a sudden, Kudzavine is covering trees and killing them. any species in that doesn't have natural checks and, ba and balances, then it's going to, you know, essentially clog the ecosystem and uh, outcompete everything else. They also can negatively impact our environment if they're plants. They can actually overgrow the environment where they're found, and so other things can't live or compete there. Those native species will then disappear. You end up with a simpler uh, biodiversity, a simpler ecosystem. That ecosystem doesn't function as well as the natural one to help clean our water and clean our air. And so you end up with an environment that's not as healthy as it was before the invasive species moved in. I think regular people every day can help fight invasive species in their own areas by number one being mindful of them and taking small actions like making sure you clean up your boat <laughs> after you're in one area before moving it to another and by planting your native species. Well again I think it comes just comes down to education and awareness, knowing where things are coming from. Education, you always, you know, it's always a good fallback. Educate your children, educate anybody that will listen to you about how to stop this. Educate your spouse, educate yourself, educate your kids, even your dogs and cats maybe. Education!